Hey guys, what's up? It's KC Rock 75. Uh, sorry, I haven't made a video in a while. Uh, apologize for that. Um, school just let out, you know. So maybe I'll have time to make some more videos. Who knows? Um, as you previously saw, I made a deer feeder. Uh, I kind of like to do that kind of stuff, you know, make stuff just to say that it can be done. Uh -huh. But also because it's cheaper and I just like to have satisfaction of doing it myself. But um, I was thinking, you know, why do I have a deer feeder? Why can't you do something else? So I come up with a tree stand. Um, I made this in a metal technologies class in the school. Um, another reason I pretty much did it was because I went on the Google, YouTube, stuff like that, places like that, and you can't really find like plans to make a tree stand like box tube and stuff like that and like plans um i can see why now because there's you can't really make it up you just have to go with it you know um but anyhow um okay it took me about two weeks to do this but um it could probably only take you like a day if you're really into it like all day you'd probably get done um maybe two I mean if you're not experienced like me it might take you a week or so but the only reason it took me two weeks to do it in school is because it's only a 45 minute period you didn't get to use the tools all the time but anyhow life goes on okay I made this out of three quarter inch steel box tube it's kinda heavy um this stand I don't know really much how much weight it will hold on um, I took this up in the tree I put two ratchet straps one here one up here and I'm 160 pounds and it held me just fine um, like I said three quarter inch steel box tube uh, you probably need about 20 feet I know it's kind of a lot but in case you screw up or you want to put some more things on it like I even thought about putting a footrest on it didn't have enough time so um, yeah you could I mean you could probably get away with 15 I don't really know you figure it out okay um this is a 20 by 20 steel platform uh that's kind of small but for me i'm big enough so you know fits me just fine i had a six rung base um uh, that's not, not including this back back piece um these risers are 22 inches long um pretty i'm a pretty tall person myself uh so I need a little bit of leg room whenever I sit down. Uh, yeah, these are 7 16 bolts to drill into the 3 quarter inch frame. Now that was kind of tricky, but I didn't really feel confident in my welding in the back. So I went and did that. There's not very much room because you have to drill a 3 quarter in or a 3 quarter hole down through there. And that's really, really tough. Well, it's not tough, but I mean, it's it's just iffy. Um, since I did that right here, I'm going to weld that. I haven't got to that yet, but I'm going to. Um, I have two support bars to go on right over there. You go from here down to here just for some added support. Uh, the seat uh, it hasn't been finished off. You can see it up there. This hasn't been finished. I haven't watered it down yet, but it's a 16 by 8 platform, well, seat platform. Um, like I said, two ratchet straps, one goes up here, one goes down here. I would preferably use a heavy duty strap just in case you don't have to. I would, that's your preference. Um, this, I just quick did spray paint over with it, or spray paint on it. Uh, I don't have a can of spray paint right here right now to show you what I used, but um, I just put primer down on it and well I first I sanded it, got all the rust off of it, primered it and you can go to Lowe's or Walmart, or, well, I don't know if Walmart would sell it, but it's camouflage paint, it's dark green, I think it blends very well into the trees and outdoors and nature. Um, yeah, that's uh that's my tree stand I made.
probably in about two weeks worth of time. You could probably do it in less. Uh, I'm hoping I can make like a climber, show you how that can be done. Uh, if I do, I'll try to um, do it in steps so I can show you how I build it. But until then, thanks.